Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa Channel, and today we are going to take a look at my Pieta replica of the 1862 J.H. Danson Brothers Confederate revolver. Now, this is chambered in 44 cal, which was what most of them originally were chambered in. Uh, they did make them in 36 uh, caliber, but a majority of what came out of the dance factory was, in fact, 44 caliber. Now, they did a very good job of re uh, reproducing this, replicating it. Um, it's got one little major uh, flaw that can be fixed on it, but we'll go over that here in a few. Now, the Dance Brothers have a very short history. Um, very sought after in collector's corners. If you can find an original Dance Brother revolver, there's only about a hundred of them known to, ex to exist. They only made over the 1862 to 1864 production run right around 400 so they were a very low number manufactured although even though being a low number they were think they were considered like the number three uh, revolver for the confederacy so you can sh sh that shows how hard it was for the confederacy to make handguns and firearms in general uh, for their cause so they were a a more farm orientated society they didn't have a whole lot of manufacturing capacity these were originally made in east columbia texas uh, they did uh, make them from 62 to late 1863 um, in columbia texas until the union started encroaching uh, on the river and near the factory they moved it about 30 miles down the road uh, to keep uh, production running now very few revolvers were ever produced in that second location um, and 1864 was the last known shipment of dance revolvers before the war they were a gin or cotton gin and uh, grist mill manufacturer and after the war they became a grist mill and cotton gin and i believe they were a furniture manufacturer also um, up until about 1900 when the factory burned down and it was never rebuilt. So they've got a very short history uh, making these firearms and they're very interesting. Uh, they were built off the about the third model Dragoon. Very, um, something very unique to the Dance Brother revolvers is the fact that there are no recoil shields on either side. Uh, it is a flat frame. Uh, very unique for the time uh, you got to be careful you know, if you do find a uh, an original uh, be careful that it is an actual dance brothers revolver because as with anything that's uh, rare hard to find um, brings in extra money because it's a dance revolver um, people were taking colts and filing down the <laughs> the the recoil shields and trying to pass them off as dance revolver like I said, only a hundred exist they were a very high quality a uh, great revolver that even after the war people continue to use so that's one of the reasons why there's just so few numbers of them because they were out in cowboy countries these were still a very solid revolver even though uh, cartridge guns had been introduced by that point these were still very relevant and very uh, loved by their owners now as you take as you take a look at this you can see where the trigger guard is squared off in the back that is the major error that piano made when they made these uh, this should be rounded that's how the dance brothers revolvers were um, i think they copied this off the dragoon that this was copied after very simple to fix i can buy a new frame a new trigger guard with a rounded uh, trigger guard on here new frame with a rounded trigger guard handle and change that out very easily in fact I've got some uh, Navy revolvers I may switch one over um, this squared uh, trigger guard is not necessarily not period correct there were several uh, manufacturers that did use the Dragoon was squared um, but uh, the Dance Brothers were, were never squared off um, it does have the octagon to round barrel a lot of guys like that but you know color case hardened you can see no blast shields just a beautiful, beautiful revolver. But let's go ahead, take this out to the range, shoot it some, um, get my thoughts on it. We're going to take the dance revolver, Confederate dance revolver, out for a little dance. 
Uh, this would have been the uh, revolver used by the Confederacy. Now this is reproduction by Pieta. Uh, we're going to take this out, but one of the main things you'll notice here is you don't have the blast shields on, on either side here. Uh, cap and ball. I uh, figured we'd just you know, take this out, exercise it a little bit. I uh, haven't shot this one yet. Uh, slow things down, just have some fun with some black powder today. Uh, first thing we need to do, load up some caps and uh, blow some of the oil and, and stuff out of it. You're always supposed to run caps through it before you load All them right, up. now let's load this up. We're cheating today. Black powder is a little hard to find and I don't have any substitute uh, powder uh, to use in this. Uh, everything I brought was for rifles. So we're using these pellets. These were designed for these cap and ball uh, made by Pirate X. Let's get this ready to we'll go ahead and get this loaded up. All right, here we go. Dance revolver. Glitch. Glitch. Okay, look at that dance revolver. Holy cow. That's that's called a group. That's called a group. Yes. Considering I was flinching on that first shot, uh, uh -huh. it uh, settled right in That is called there. a group. Wow. Well, I'm pretty happy with those results. Uh, shot yeah, really well. Um, nice trigger on it. Oh, this is going to be a fun little revolver now. Black powder cap and ball. You know, that was probably about 15 minutes worth of fun there. For six shots, so yeah. let's get her loaded back up and uh, we'll shoot some making, more. You're certainly making an investment when it's yeah. <laughs> in time. You know, as, as hectic and, and hustle and bustle as our lives can be in our regular jobs, sometimes it's nice to just get out here, slow down, you know, go through the process, you know, have some fun and decompress a little bit. Well, you know, I used to do that a lot when I worked retail. Uh, and it was nice just to go to the range with the muzzle loader and spend half a day there and fire maybe 20 shots. Yeah. You know, it's not a lot of shooting. Not having to deal with a whole bunch of Karens this way. Bless you. All right, we're all capped up. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, six more rounds on paper. We'll do this old gunfighter style. Six out of six, not um, too bad. Right now it's shooting really nice. Um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, 12 shots, 12 out of 12. Haven't had any cap jam or anything like that with it, so it's running well. Um, you can see here I'm running running my Fud Freeze shirt, yeah, with a black powder. So <laughs> Fud Freeze, Fud. Fud free zone shirt with a black powder pistol. So um, I do have a t-shirt shop. So if you want to help support the channel, I've got uh, one out there with my logo on it and the Fud free zone one. Um, I'm going to put some other options and stuff on there. So if you want to help the channel out, yeah, I'd appreciate it a whole bunch. Um, I do have a t-shirt shop and this is 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel. This is the dance revolver that the Confederacy was using. Now, you know, there's only a few hundred of these made, but uh, the Confederacy was so, um, so uh, what, uh, desperate for weapons that, you know, with a couple hundred made, this was like number four on the most popular, or most <laughs> used uh, guns. No, they stole <laughs> as many from the Yankees as they could get their hands on. Yeah, yeah, evidently. <laughs> 